this equation is a very standard sort of one you would do if you're doing tissue culture. It's diluting a, an almost pure stock solution down to the working concentration that you need it at. In this case, I've chosen 99% ethanol down to 70% ethanol. It's that's what you would use to uh, clean your hoods, and so you're going to generate a large volume of it quite frequently. This is like an everyday kind of calculation. So what we need to do here is the same as if we're diluting any other solution down the way. We take a molarity 1 times our volume 1 is equal to molarity 2 times our volume 2. In this case, the, the concentration, the molarity, is actually in percentage. We don't need to do any calculation to work out what that really is. As long as the units are the same, we can just use them. So what we we have is we're, we're going to rearrange the equation again. So the volume we want is equal to the molarity we want times the volume we want divided by the molarity, in this case, concentration that we, that we want. So let's just identify what's what. We want a 70% ethanol solution, so 70%. And what we want is two and a half litres of it, 2.5 litres. And that comes from a 99% stock solution, 99%. If we do that calculation, we don't have to do anything. This percentage is in percentage, so we're fine. So what that gives us is a number of 1.7, uh, let's round it up, 1.77 litres of the pure ethanol and the rest will be made up with water, so about 0.8 litres. So that's fine, that's that's the way we do it. Um, and you would you calculate it in the lab. Now when I, I do these sorts of things, I'd, I would like to do a quick calculation in my head to make sure the number I'm getting is, is at least close to where I want it to be. So in, in this case, if I imagine that it isn't 99%, but instead it's 100%, then I, I need 70% of 100%, of 100%, which is 0 0.7. So all I need to do is take 2.5 times 0 0.7 and I'll get a pretty close approximation of what I need to do. Now, what's that? So that's 0 0.7 times 2, 1.4, 0 0.7 times a half, 0 0.35, therefore 1.75 litres. So this calculation here I'm doing in my head. This one here I'm doing with a calculator to be accurate, but by doing both of them, I can see that my I've pressed the right buttons on the calculator and I'm confident that my number is going to be right.